the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we gather together for our Eucharistic celebration for this fourth Sunday in ordinary time. And our readings, especially our Gospel reading, speaks of our God, of our Lord Jesus, as one having authority, as one having the power to bring healing. No doubt, we ourselves and our world today needs the healing touch of God. And so we pray for that healing, for that peace that we and our world is longing for these days. And we take a moment in prayer, in silence, to pray for God's mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are our good shepherd. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life that came down from heaven. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to be people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people. He said, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own kin. You shall meet such a prophet. This is what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly, when you said, Let me not hear the voice of the Lord my God anymore, or ever again see this great fire, lest I die. Then the Lord replied to me, They are right in what they have said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their own kin. I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them everything that I command him. Anyone who does not heed the words that he speaks in my name, I myself shall hold him accountable. But any prophet who speaks in the name of the other gods or presumes to speak in my name, a word that I have not commanded him to speak, that prophet shall die. The Word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Oh, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, oh that, that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with the songs of praise. Oh, oh that today you would listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, oh that, that today you would listen to the, to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Massa in the wilderness. When your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. Oh, oh that today you would listen to the, to the voice of the Lord. Lord. Do not harden your hearts. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I want you to be free from anxieties. The unmarried man is anxious about the affairs of the Lord, how to please the Lord. But the married man is anxious about the affairs of the world, how to please his wife, and his interests are divided. The unmarried woman and the virgin are concerned about the affairs of the Lord so that they may be holy in body and spirit. But the married woman is concerned about the affairs of the world, how to please her husband. I say this for your own benefit, not to put any restraint upon you, but to promote good order and unhindered devotion to the Lord. <clears throat> the Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit, and he cried out, 
What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing the man, and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once, Jesus' fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, our readings this weekend reveal the power and authority of the prophet Moses, of St. Paul, and of Jesus. We read in the Old Testament that Moses is a great figure, and there are many instances of his importance among the people of Israel. God spoke to Moses from the burning bush and Moses was given the command to liberate the people of Israel. Moses led the nation across the desert. Moses received the Ten Commandments from God himself and Moses was blessed to talk to God face to face as a friend. Most importantly, Moses was given the power and the authority to speak to the people to alter their way of life and come back to God. St. Paul spoke to the people of Corinth with the power and the authority to promote good orders in their married life and to show unhindered devotion to the Lord. In the Gospel, Jesus exercised the power and authority to cast out the unclean spirit. There was a man in the synagogue possessed with an evil spirit. The evil spirit recognized who Jesus was and his power. Jesus demonstrated compassion, kindness, mercy and love for the man in casting out the demons. Jesus showed the crowd that the power of life is stronger than the power of death. The power of light has overcome the power of destruction. In the light of Christ, there is no darkness. Jesus, in fact, invited the man to stay close to God, the God of compassion and the God of love. The man became free of the evil as he experienced the power and the authority of Jesus. The unclean spirit left the man. Jesus did not use his authority and the divine power to rule and control people as the elders did. But instead, 
He came to set people free. He invited them to come with the trusting faith so that he may free them from the evil spirits of fear, compulsion, selfishness, anger, resentment and hostility that kept them from praying, loving and sharing with the community of faith. As John's Gospel 10.10 says, I have come that they may have life, life in abundance. The story of a man with an unclean spirit reminds us to look into our own self. A few, us human, we may be tempted by the evil spirit to go astray. It is true that such temptation would take us away from God. It would separate us from friends and it would cause fractures in our relationships. We may feel that it is just a bad luck or a curse. I remember the movie Fireproof. This film shows us how the evil tendency of the hero created problems in his married life. Kurt Holt is a hero heroic fire captain who values dedication and service to others above all else. But the most important partnership in his life, his marriage, and it is about to go up in smoke. Caleb soon finds the motivation to destroy his computer and everything on it. He tearfully apologizes for his selfish behavior and asks her wife's forgiveness. He also realizes his commitment to Christ and commitment to his wife. He desires to transform in his life and marriage through the healing power of faith and to fully embrace the firefighter's call. Never leave your partner behind. Friends, we have a constant struggle between the evil spirit and the Holy Spirit. The struggle between light and darkness. The struggle between good and bad. But if we desire our own transformation and believe in the healing power of faith, we can embrace the firefighter's call in the movie and utter similar words like never leave your God behind and never leave your family behind. <clears throat> the scripture message is simple. Intellectual knowledge of God is not enough. Instead, we need to submit to Him as Lord. In doing so, we will overcome evil and we will become free people to live with the goodness and selfless behavior. Let us allow the grace and the mercy of God to work in us so that our evil tendencies are overcome and the good spirit may take over. Amen.
Let us now profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last day. Sisters and brothers, now with faith and confidence, offer our prayers to our loving God as we respond with that same faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For Christians everywhere, that we might listen carefully to the messages of Moses, St. Paul, and Jesus, and act according to the goodness they espouse. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That each of us might choose light over darkness, goodness over sin, the Holy Spirit over evil, and life over death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the members of our parish community, that we strive to stay healthy and hopeful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the healing of those who are ill, especially Brian McCray, Melanie Presti, Andrea Aikenhead, Maureen Karnak, Tony Backler, and Honor Marie Sumerov. And for those who love and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our family, members, friends, and parishioners who have died, and for all who are grieving the loss of a loved one, that they might find comfort in the promise of the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayer intentions deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and life, hear these the prayers of your children and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them 
into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. By his suffering, he canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fog, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the people you have gathered. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Kevin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. With the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other now this sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The body of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.